So hi everyone, I'm uh, Chris. Uh, this talk was initially going to be about Clash 1.0 and how we got, uh, we have clock domains now and they're configurable and whether we have rising edge or falling edge. Uh, but I had a very interesting dinner uh, yesterday, so I'm not going to talk about Clash 1.0. Um, I'm going to talk about why we started Clash, what our visions for the future are. Um, so what is Clash? Um, so it's a uh, hardware description language or a compiler that takes high-level uh, Haskell code and produces low-level uh, Verilog, VHDL, or system Verilog. And um, you might be wondering, like, uh, why would you do that? Um, so let's go to normal CPUs, uh, you know, instruction set machines, you know, for normal install machines. If you take an abstraction from that, you get imperative languages like C, and that's why languages like C are so good to operate on these uh, on these kind of machines. But if you take a circuit, they're you know the smallest part. They really like functions, right? So you want a, a language is really good at composing functions and abstracting over functions. So that's why we uh, we went with uh, with Haskell, uh, a functional language to describe circuits. And of course, you know. Thousands of man years have been put in the non-trivial translation because that's what we do. Uh, to be fair, though, this is still difficult and that as well. But this is way more difficult. Um, so yeah, that's that's why we went, uh, you know, with using functions as a basis to describe circuits. Um, but you know, going even higher level, um, it, it, I think we we really want to do, to go back to a basis and this. You know, kind of like, like Risk Five, uh, we have a very basic set of, uh, you know, ways of abstracting things in a language. You want to start from there and then build on top to match uh, your architecture. I mean, you're not going to describe Risk Five as, oh, it's x86 minus all of this stuff, right? You you want to build stuff. So you know, if you have your math, then you add unrestricted mutation. You know, then you get a language like C. But if you want to, you know, go to different architectures, you know, start with saying what you can do, add more stuff on it, and then you can go to GPU or something like graph cores, uh, machine, uh, you know, those kind of those kind of things. But you know, start with a with a basis. Uh, that's what we're gonna work on. We're starting now with Clash, but we hope to you know build on top of this functional core extensions and to target alternative architectures. Go and explore Clash. Thanks. <laughs>